Simplify by factoring. Assume that no radicands were formed by raising negative numbers to even powers. We have the cube root of 24 a to the 11th power, b to the 13th power. Now I'm going to look for perfect cube factors of this radicand. 24 is 8 times 3, and 8 is a perfect cube. a to the 11th power is a to the 9th power times a squared, and a to the 9th power is a perfect cube, and b to the 13th has a perfect cube factor of b to the 12th. So I can write that as b to the 12th times b. And now let's group all the perfect cubes together. I have 8 times a to the 9th times b to the 12th. And they are multiplied times 3 times a squared times b. And taking cube roots here, I have, um, well, let's write this as two radicals. First of all, I have the cube root of 8a to the 9th, b to the 12th, times the cube root of 3a squared b. And taking the cube roots here, the cube root of 8 is 2, the cube root of a to the 9th power is a cubed, and the cube root of b to the 12th power is b to the 4th. So I have 2a cubed b to the 4th times the cube root of 3a squared b.